Well, guys, we are back in the lab of this mad scientist. Erin, exactly what are we doing today? Today we're going to be talking about the center of gravity. And I'm sure you've heard this term before. Before I explain all of that, let's get into our experiment. So what you need is a ping pong ball. You cut it in half very carefully. Please get a parent or an adult or someone to help you out. But you cut it along the join line. And now you've got two funky halves. You also need some sellotape, some Play-Doh modeling clay, as well as a piece of paper that you've rolled into a tube and taped on both sides. Make it about mm, 15 centimeters long and about 10 centimeters high. And that should be Perfect. Okay, so Mac, I'm going to need your help for this. Okay. What you need to do is you need to take your nice little piece of paper yeah. and you need to pop it securely inside one half of the ping pong ball. Okay, there we go. So now what I need you to do is to actually, wait, before we do that, take your modeling clay. I almost forgot a step. <laughs> okay, and then when you put it inside your ping pong ball and you push it down flat, just like that. Make it all sticky and push it down evenly at the bottom. Now we're back on the right place. Pop this inside and then Mac is going to secure the outside of uh, the tube onto the ping pong ball with some silitape. Round and round and round we go. You know, I always feel like I'm pinky and you're the brain. It's true, I am the brain and you are pinky indeed. But we're not taking over the world, thankfully. Okay, there Oops. we go. <laughs> Mac, why don't you just use the scissor like the one that's there? Okay, there now go. we're gonna try and put this back inside quickly so we can do this experiment. Right, now that you've got your little tube secure, and it's nicely is in it there. Working? Yes, it is. It should be. You'll see that it just stands perfectly upright, which is abnormal considering that this is a spherical shape. But now that you just tap it around, you'll notice that it doesn't even lie down properly. And the reason for this is a spherical ping pong ball has absolutely no center of gravity. And what we did with the modeling clay was give it a center of gravity. Now you, you know, you do some sport. Yeah. They'll tell you that it's good to have a really low center of gravity because it allows you to tackle faster. If you're a gymnast, it helps you to balance. Now in a sports car, the center of gravity becomes even more crucial because at those top speeds, the car needs to be evenly balanced on yeah. both sides. So they need to make sure that the center of gravity is secure so that the car can fly at top speed and the weirdest use of the center of gravity believe it or not is in high jump I'm sure you've seen high jumpers go over the pole in like this weird funky backflip motion well it's called the Fosbury flop and what they do is they actually move their center of gravity so that it is so to speak detached from them when they're going over the pole to make sure that they don't hit it my goodness very creepy I know but that is how your center of gravity works and this is a perfect way to show off center of gravity to just about anyone that you know. Pretty easy ping pong ball paper and some modeling. And clay. there's a lot of um, kids toys that are like modeled around this concept of the center of gravity. Actually, yes, there are quite a few uh, kids toys that are modeled on the center of gravity and they're used as educational toys to give kids that push and pull sort of feel or to allow them to actually hit things around and then they just stand back up again. Yeah, like Mr. Potato Head. No. <laughs> But if you're, looking, <laughs> if you're looking for a Mr. Potato of your own, why not go and have a look at this week's websites? We've got a load of interesting ones for you. And also, go and look at hiptobesquare.com. We've got interesting articles, news from our brand ambassadors, and of course, competitions. So go and have a look at that. Check it out, guys.